Downloading and installing the BACnet browser is very simple. Go to connectx.com, click on Downloads, hit the Download for a BACnet browser, save the file, run it, and hit Install. The application will download itself as well as any updates and install. If you get a Windows security alert, hit Allow Access. Be sure to read any notices and hit OK. The BACnet browser should automatically scan the network for BACnet points. If it does not do so automatically, hit the Scan button. You should immediately see points come up into the browser window. In order to clear the set of points, you may click the X below it. You can always scan, start a new scan, or stop the scan. Within each device, you will see the points associated with that device. For more information, you may add to grid view. If the point can be modifiable, you can change the value like so. It may take some time for the update, and it will update on both sides. Let's enable some extra options. Go to the Settings menu, click on Advanced, click on Enable Configuration Options, and hit OK. You will now see that we have extra options underneath the grid view. To create a custom view, simply add some points to the grid, select Create New Page from Grid, give it a name, Hit enter and either open up the page browser from here or here. Now you can click right or left keys to switch through your views. Notice that the units here are, op are updating. Now that you've created a page view, you can assign an image to it. Do so by clicking on the image button. Select an image and hit open. Now when you rotate through the page views, it will select the appropriate image. To save your page views, simply click on the Save button. Give it a name and hit Save. Opening it is just as easy. You can remove pages by clicking the Delete button. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the BACnet browser demo. If you'd like more information, please send an email to info at connect-x.com.